Good morning. <laughs> it's, um, oh, what is it? It's Thursday morning. Doesn't feel like it's we're all on holiday. I'm gonna take my Breathe Right strip off. And the lighting is so nice in here. Ow, ow. <laughs> the lighting's so nice in here because we have snow on the ground. <gasps> oh my gosh. I wish we had had our leaves raked beforehand, but I mean, this wasn't gonna stick. It's, it, the winds are too strong, it's blowing it all around. But yeah, last night I had over some of my, my colleagues from my church job, um, from the, the chamber choir, had them all over for like cookies and cider. And they sang through some uh, arrangements of mine for my car my future caroling company that I want to have. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. A lot of fun. This is ho horrible lighting. Horrible, horrible. Minerva went and stayed the night at her, at my sister's house with her cousin Rio. And I'm sure she had a great time, but then I texted this morning and I said, how did everything go? You know? And she was like, she slept horribly. She went to, didn't fall asleep till like midnight. Woke up at five because the winds were so loud. My niece like just took care of everything. Like brushed her teeth, well, gave her breakfast, brushed her teeth, got her dressed and She's such a rock star. Anyway, so I'm really hoping, Nick's going to pick her up right now. The roads are apparently really, apparently really bad, but he says they're fine. I don't know. I've still got makeup on from last night. Look at that. So hoping she's in a good mood because we're kind of snowed in today. <laughs> and there's really nothing left to do until Christmas. Oh boy. <laughs> but I thought I'd come on and maybe vlog some uh, I have no idea what we're doing today, like activities or things we're eating. Uh, I woke up super hungry. I've been waking up very hungry the past few days. So I'm, I'm making myself a big pancake, a protein pancake with some yogurt and blueberries. And it's, it's, let's see, it's a quarter till 11. I may like make like a wonton soup later. I've got some frozen well, they're not wontons, they're gyoza, but that's the best I have. But I may do that, something warm and cozy. We've got lots of cookies and stuff left over from last night. Uh, these were really good, these spec speculoos. And of course, little Fig Newtons. And this was accidentally vegan. This is uh, this marzipan stolen. So that was fun. And then someone brought chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I mean, we were like loaded up and then, and then I, I got these cinnamon graham crackers and I thought they were vegan and I forgot to check for honey. They have honey in them. So honey's not like a mountain that I'm going to die on. And so I'm not, not worried about it, but we have lots of sweet things to eat and I've got hot chocolate. I've got cider from, I made a mulled cider last night. My friend Stephanie brought sparkling non-alcoholic like one of them is sparkling cider and the other one's a sparkling rosé so it's like oh we, we should save some of those for new year's that'll be nice and anyway and we're all stocked up we went to the grocery stores yesterday and the day before so i guess today it's just like i guess cleaning around the house and focusing on packing really really need to get the packing done because like it could be any moment <laughs> it could it really could saturday i'll be 38 weeks I don't, I'm not really thinking about it much. I mean, I've had a lot of time to prepare and I, I haven't been thinking through a lot of it because I think there's so many unknowns. Things could, good, things could go so many different ways. So I can't like really be playing out every scenario in my brain because it would just be endless and I just need to be open to 
whatever's going to happen. So that's kind of where I'm at. And I feel like I'm in a pretty good place, as good as I can be. I think the thing I'm like most upset about is being away from home because I'm a bit of a homebody and being away from Minerva and Nick and the cats and relinquishing that control. You know, the hospital can get really depressing and sterile and uninspiring and you know what I mean? Like that's what I'm, I'm worried about because I know how those things affect me. I mean, of course I'm worried about Max, but again, like it's out of my hands. What happens to him? I mean, I, obviously I'm going to be making decisions and I, but again, I just don't know what to expect. So anyway, that's where we're at last week of Advent. I guess I could be doing some reading too. That'd probably be helpful. <laughs> All right. I need to eat and I need to moisturize my face. I can, I can feel how dry it is and I, I didn't sleep much. We went to bed around two. That was just because like after everyone left, we still had like another, stayed up like another hour just like so we could have some, some quiet time, you know, before bed. <laughs> like I needed to wind down. Huh. Anyway. All right. I'll take you along today. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh. 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 It's in the morning. Uh, you mean like tomorrow morning? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, tomorrow is Friday. I don't think anything. No, 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 I don't want to go outside. You want to go outside? No, go outside in the morning. Okay. No, go outside in the morning and weep. You want to leave? You want to go somewhere in the morning? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, uh, where are we going in, in the morning? I don't know, honey. It depends on how slick the streets are. Oh, uh, I love my headache. You got a headache. I love it. No, very hard. Very hard? Mm hmm Okay. Did you drink any water while you were at Annie Biff's house? No. No, that's probably happily making your headache worse. Probably you need to drink some water. <laughs> but... And there were in the same country shepherds, abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night, and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. And the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Manger? Wine in a manger? Why did you say wine in a manger? You know that story. Why did you say that? He's talking about the, the birth story of Jesus. Why? Because that's the true story of Christmas. That's what Christmas is all about, Charlie. That's what Christmas is all about, Minerva May.
freezing outside, like well below, although some snow is melting. I don't know how that works. But anyway, we got some snow Yay, on Thursday. Let's see, his velvet, oh my gosh, I need to defuzz this. Had like that, like an Arctic blast come through. And uh, so we've been kind of, not necessarily snowbound, but just no reason to get out in this, you know, freezing weather. So been kind of cooped up, going a little crazy, but it's Christmas Eve, which means it's the last day of Advent. And we're heading out to mass. Uh, I'm gonna leave in about 30 minutes. It just hit three o'clock. So we're getting all gussied up. And I haven't dressed Minerva yet, but I've done her hair, but I'm kind of contemplating putting a curling iron on her hair. Like very, very low setting, very low. So we're gonna head out to mass and oh, Christmas miracle happened. We lost water in our kitchen. Uh, I think we had a, a frozen pipe yesterday morning. My dad came by and they tried to find the line. Long story short, like the pipes are, part of them go up into the attic and like, so there's no crawl space on our house. So part of them, sorry, fuzzes. I put, I put this in the wash and it picked up everything. So couldn't find the line because it's under this part of the laundry room, which the original owner had added. Anyway, so we couldn't really like get down there with a hair dryer and warm up the pipe. So dishwasher and kitchen sink were out, but our laundry room was working, which is right off the, uh, the kitchen. So we ran a load of laundry on hot and cold and that seemed to kind of do the trick. Maybe, I mean, that's what we did differently and it worked. So we've got all the faucets running. It's gonna be great for our wallet, but you know, it is what it is. It's better than having a burst pipe. I guess, did I say? The water just came back on about an hour ago. So that's wonderful. Although we were gonna make a little bit more food to take with us tonight to our Christmas Eve family gathering, but oh, we have enough. We have enough. We are blessed with enough. That's not gonna work out, is it? I need to, ah! I'm not gonna use that now. Do my hair. I need to do my hair. I need to get her dressed. I need to defuzz this. And then after mass, we're gonna come back and gather up our food that we've made to take, oh, food and we're doing like an ornament exchange, which we do every year at my cousin's and gather up all that stuff and then head out there and we'll spend the evening there, which is always lovely with my dad's side of the family and my cousin's wife's family. And then we'll come home and we'll get ready for Santa. I'm really debating on how to do my hair right now. So my hair is, I have a lot of hair, but it's very, very fine. And I can't decide if I wanna do my classic woof, or waves. Now I can do tighter curls or looser waves. And looser waves are always a little bit more of a gamble, but I put mousse in my hair and I'm kinda like feeling a little methodical today, which when I'm feeling methodical, things always go a bit better for me. So I think I'm going to attempt a straightening iron for waves. Let's see how I do. I have a little bit of time, so not a lot. Okay, I don't hate that. I have the curling iron plugged in too, so if I need backup, then I can always go with the curling iron. So we just made for tonight, like it's just kind of a potluck deal. It's very in, like informal in that way, which is fine with me. So we can like bring stuff to share and it, well, it's not like a meal. Like we're all trying to like put a huge meal together for Thanksgiving, this one's just kind of like, just bring dishes you like, which I think is a lot more fun that way. And so I made this thing I made last year, which turned out really, really good, uh, by Caitlin Schumacher. She's, she is from my bowl. I'm gonna see if I can clean this lens a little bit. 
Did that help? Kind of. I think so. She has a from my bowl, so it's all vegan, fairly healthy food. And last year I saw her post for this lentil pomegranate, French lentil and pomegranate salad. And I made it and it was a big hit among all the um, omnivores. So, and it was really fresh and nice, so I made it again. So it's like French lentils, but I couldn't find French lentils, so I did black lentils, which she said you can sub that. And parsley, so this is all in a bed of greens, like a baby kale or arugula, and I did a mix of baby kale and spinach, I think is what I could find. And then the black lentils, which have been like marinated in this maple Dijon vinaigrette, and with pomegranate seeds and fresh parsley and toasted hazelnuts and pickled red onions. And it's very tasty and it tastes very festive too. So I've got that. We weren't planning on it, but as our local Sprouts has been having all those meatless roasts, you know, like they've got tofurkey and field roast and then they have the gardein, which we love the gardein. I mean, at least I do. And they've been having it for like $5 on sale. So we just keep buying them and eating these roasts. Just fine by me. So we have, we have one that Nick made just now. Uh, and we'll just heat it up when we get over to their house later tonight. Like just warm it up and bring the gravy. And yeah, and we'll have that as an option. Oh, my nose is stopped up. Mom. Yes, ma'am. Could I have my candy cane? Do you have a candy cane? No, mine at the tree. Sure. Mm, Daddy told, told me it's too old. Oh, yeah, I, I know what he's talking about, but um, you can tell him that Mama said yes. Okay, let me fix your hair real fast. Go, go tell Daddy I said it's okay. <laughs> and then Nick last year made his, yeah. his family corn pudding, which is basically like cornbread and pudding form. I mean, not like, not like jello pudding, but see, I don't like that. That's not curled enough. Ugh. I'm losing my methodical streak here. Anyway, it's like, typically you use like Jiffy cornbread mix, like if it weren't vegan, Jiffy cornbread mix, a can of cream corn, a can of whole kernel corn, a an eight ounce container of sour cream. I think there's butter involved too. And an egg. So he has veganized it using like vegan versions of things. And there's a Jiffy vegetarian cornbread mix because cornbread mix, Jiffy is not even vegetarian. It's got lard in it. So he can veganize it and he made that last year and that was absolutely delicious. It was another hit. So that's what we're bringing, some more corn pudding, the lentil pomegranate salad, the gardein roast. Oh, and I made a um, ambrosia salad, which is like, it's that mandarin, orange, pineapple, coconut, marshmallow dish. So good. And I just used dandy marshma Dandy's marshmallows and uh, tofuti sour cream. And if you don't tell people, they don't know the difference. Seriously, I've done it many times. And so we have that. We're gonna bring some backup mac and cheese for her. That's already made, just, you know, in case she doesn't eat anything else. She can have that. And we've got backup cookies for her in case she really, really wants something in particular that's not vegan, then we can just appease her with something that we've brought. It's really not that hard. It can be a little difficult. Uh, the difficult days, I think, are, as far as like vegan parenting goes, are the early days when they just, it's, they're too young to be told why we're doing this. And, you know, if, if some slip ups happen, we just don't know if she's allergic to eggs. That's like, that's kind of the big thing. Dairy, I know she's had by accident and she's been okay. She hasn't had like, you know, full on, like a glass of cow's milk or something like that. She's had like 
like milk powder in something before. And I know she's had Nutella. And I know she's had candy corn, which I think has milk in it. So anyway, I know she doesn't have a, a horrible dairy allergy. At least we don't know how horrible it would be if she actually had, you know, a full on glass of milk. Whatever. But eggs, I, I don't know. She probably doesn't. But anyway, it, the, the, the hard times of vegan parenting are when, you know, they want something at the store and you say, oh honey, we gotta check the ingredients. We gotta make sure that there's dairy. No dairy, I, I want the dairy. You know, she just, that's, that's a little hard. But you know, other kids go through that with food allergies. And it's just, it is what it is and we'll get past it. And um, I think if she's anything like either of us, which so far has been very much the case, she uh, Mom, will thank us later. Mom? Yeah. Wait, you, are you on the phone? No, I'm talking on my, my video. Why? You did another video. Uh-huh. Last day, I went to go to my nether phone. Uh-huh. Let's look at your cute little... Hi. Oh, say it again. Hi. Look at your pretty fingernails. Oh, and look at your hair. We're going to have to get you in your pretty dress soon. Okay. Almost. Almost there. Getting a little bit on a time crunch now. Speed it up. My hair is so fine, it just doesn't like, you can't really pull it into sections very easily. Not like you can with like coarser hair. So I just have to do my best. I also am not very good with hair. Like I do, I do a good job, but I can't like braid my own hair. There's no, there's no effing way. I can barely just do a basic braid. Definitely can't do French braids. I've tried and I've tried. <laughs> I had three friends at once trying to show me how to French braid and it, they were like, I think you're kind of hopeless. <laughs> yeah, just the hand-eye coordination with it. I don't know. Hair is a weird medium for me to really, really think about it. So, okay, these are the top layers. These are the ones that I want to look really good. So let's see how I do. Not too high up. Turned out well. I'm just so thankful that Minerva has curly hair. So thankful. This is this straight mess has always been so hard to manage. Manage. It's like getting all the angles right. That's always been so hard. You know what I mean? I don't know that worked very well. I did. I'll have to do a back check in a minute. Okay, let's see. Is that done? No. I'm just hanging out there. Ah. Ooh. Okay, let's make sure you get done. Straight up. I'm gonna put too much heat on that. There we go. looks pretty good pretty good so I'm gonna let it um, cool and then I'll put some I may run like a pick through it and then put my product in it and probably spray it right out of time I gotta get her dressed and fix her hair better okay
Do you see it? What is that? Is that the baby Jesus? No, that. That's hay. Oh, oh, there's are those sheep. No, that. It's kind of like moss, but I think it's supposed to look like hay. Can we see it? That Amiway's house. Oh, it is. Me, Ray. This garage looks like your garage, apparently. Mm -hmm. And it's why me, Ray's garage. Oh, okay. And and Henry's garage. Oh no, I I can. Huh? Yeah. Arms. Keep doing it a bunch of times. There you go. Over here. Come here. Stay in one place. Yeah. Jump, jump, jump. And can you swing your arms too? Uh-huh. And jump. Oh. Oh. Okay. We're home. Merry Christmas, honey. <laughs> He's got the little white flag. <laughs> <laughs> Will you show him your shirt that I got you? finally found it bought it for him and then we lost it, it said old saint nick's tree deliveries delivery slaying the competition tree delivery delivery yeah slaying as in s-l-e-i-g-h i think everyone can read i-n-g it's backwards isn't it though i don't know no it shouldn't be oh mm -mm. It looks backwards from here it won't be it won't be yeah. Anyway, we're home for my cousins, and she, Minerva, was throwing a little bit of a fit, quite a bit of a fit. We were like the last ones to leave because we're just Nick's. Nick kind of pulled his back the other day, which happens about once every three months. Three months. <sighs> so it, it, it good takes timing. Nothing to do it. Yeah. And so we both were just really struggling to try to get her out of there. <laughs> And uh, it was a nice gathering. There's, there's some health stuff going on, and there's some grief, and you know, so that was kind of palpable. But otherwise, it was very nice, and we had fun, and got some cute pictures, and we sang some carols. And uh, anyway, this was this was the last bits of that salad that I was talking about. 
Uh, well, actually, I have a ton left. <laughs> but I'm having some more of this on my shelf. Do you like this? Yeah, look at that. I clean shirt. Isn't that nice? Did you just get it? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yep. Just yeah, pulled that out of the drawer. Anyway, she's in bed. Uh, oh, she had a... <clears throat> I think she's got a, a gas bubble. She gets those... <clears throat> Excuse me. She gets gas bubbles from time to time, and so I think she had one because she didn't eat well at all at the gathering. And uh, oh, there was such a funny moment. And I had my 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 cousin's daughter, so my first cousin once removed. I had her go grab Minerva a little plate of I made ambrosia, which is mandarin orange salad. It's like mandarin oranges, pineapple, sour cream, coconut, and marshmallows. And so I made it with the dandies, marshmallows, and tofuti sour cream. And Minerva is basically a marshmallow. She loves marshmallows so much. Yeah, the kid loves marshmallows. And I was trying to get her to come around because she was starting to throw a fit. I was like, honey, I said, do you want a marshmallow? Do you want a marshmallow? Oh, I made a marshmallow you know, in the middle of the floor. And uh, so I said, Jenna, could you go? She's like, sure. So she got her like just just a little bit, you know, and I pulled her, <laughs> pulled her over to me and I had the plate. And I said, here, honey, you want the marshmallow? And I gave her a spoon. And she looked at it and she was like, I, I don't want that. I don't. And I said, no, honey, look. And I like just pulled the marshmallow out <laughs> to give her. She said, I don't want it wet. Yeah, I said, I said, here, honey, here's just the marshmallow. And she looked at it and she like tried to grab it. And it was wet. She's like, I don't want a wet marshmallow. I want a dry marshmallow. Yeah, dry marshmallow at home. It was so funny because my mom's sitting next to me and she's cracking up. My my aunt's daughter is standing on the other side, cracking up. And she kept turning to like look at him and they they tried to stop laughing. Oh, she was having this complete meltdown about wanting a dry marshmallow, not a wet marshmallow. Oh my gosh. We made it home, we, we ch changed her into pajamas for the ride home, made it home, she didn't fall asleep, got the cookies and milk and carrots out for Santa and his reindeer, let her open up her, uh, a gift from us, which was the green robe, so she can have that in the morning. <sighs> I got her into bed, cleaned up a bit, got her into bed. And she, like, immediately fell asleep. <laughs> so we're going to get all the gifts out soon. And, you know, stockings and all that stuff because we're waiting for Santa. And But until then, I'm going to eat some of this. And Nick made his killer corn pudding. And it was a hit. I got some cookies and milk to eat. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we're going to watch Austin Powers. <laughs> The second one. We watched the first one last night. I just said to Nick, we just, it's just been such a weird year and we haven't done like our usual Christmas stuff. Right. Which has been fine. I think it's, I'm kind of I'm getting burnt out. The older you get, you know, the shorter the years are. And it feels mm -hmm. like I was just watching Love Actually like yesterday, which we haven't watched it since last year. Did we watch it last year? Yeah. And it always annoys me. Like, bits of it annoy me. But then I like it. And Anyway. But, like, we always watch Harry Potter. Like, the whole series during this time of year. And we just, we watched one of them. And I didn't even finish it. No. I was just like, it's too soon. I've been watching it too much over the past few years. And so. And we don't even really watch them anymore. We just kind of zone out on our phones. Exactly. In the background. Which isn't fun. And, anyway. So, I open up Netflix, which I never do. And... Austin Powers was up, and I was like, let's watch Austin Powers. I, like, have that whole movie memorized, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen it in a long time, so we watched all of it last night and stayed up way too late, which is why we're looking like we are now. Mm -hmm. And now, at 11.30 p.m., we're going to start the second one. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, it's so weird watching this on Christmas, but it feels right. Does it feel right? Hello? Oh, it feels right. <laughs> yeah. I'm zooming out on my phone. Have you noticed this big cat butt by my head here? <laughs> we didn't get each other any gifts at all. 
I don't have any stocking stuffers. So I think we're going to just fill our stockings with the oranges that we have. <laughs> <laughs> I, do we have any cat treats? Let's put some cat treats in theirs. I think we have uh, some of those. Um, okay, that'll be good. Pate. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to the morning and it'll be great. And we got to get the baby Jesus out too for the yeah. nativity. Mm -hmm. All right. Signing off. Going to watch Austin Powers. Eat some of this and corn pudding and cookies and go to bed and dream of sugar plums and. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you in the morning. Nick just left her a Santa note. <laughs> Okay. okay. Oh my Minerva, look. What does that say? Minerva. Yeah, open it up. It's a letter from Santa. What? What's all that? A bubble bath. Oh my yeah. goodness. It's a Santa one. Oh, wow. Is this a bubble bath? Yes, it is. Mm. Do you like how that one smells? We, oh. can, all put, we can all put them in the bath. <laughs> what what else is there? <gasps> Who's on those socks? Minnie Mouse. Minnie oh. Mouse. And the table. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what is that for? Is that for your mice? What is that? What yeah, is that? What is that? Fire. It's yeah. a fireplace. <laughs> Wait, I wonder. I don't know. Let me see it. Can I see it? Man, what's that do? Uh oh, there's a switch on it. Let me see. The, I'm, I'm going to turn it on. Let me see the turn it on. <gasps> <laughs> wow. Let me see. Does it? Oh my gosh! Look, it lights up. How fun is that? <laughs> and it's fire. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How do I turn it off? I guess you switch it again, huh? See. That is so cool. Wow. <gasps> Look, here's another chair for for this one. I, yeah. And there's another chair for this one. I think maybe those are for your mice. I think man. those are for your mice. Yeah. I think what? you can put these in your castle. <gasps> what is that? What is that? Let's open up them. What is it? Can we open up them? Minerva, do you remember what you asked Santa for for Christmas? What did you ask? Do you remember? What did you ask? Did you ask for a ring? Mm -hmm. I think you got a whole bunch of rings. Open it up. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at the ring. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, can you put it on your hand? On it's your a finger? It's a wave flower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah, that's your tune, isn't it? Wait. Do you hear that? I it's do. It's fire. Oh. <laughs> it's fire, my cat. Melinda's house. Uh huh. You're right. Oh yeah, Jason and Melissa's house. <laughs> and if you Do ever it. saw it, you need to say it glows. All right. Well, look at you got all these other. Presents. Let's get your stocking down. Oh. Where is it? Where am I stepping? 
this one right here. Oh, it's kind of heavy, huh? Oh boy! You know what this is? No, we can't have this all after breakfast, okay? But it's a can. It, it, you put candy in it. This is all candy down here. This is called a Pez dispenser. I I'm, I'm going to eat some candy. I know you do. Could you eat some candy right now? Let's see. Oh, Pez. What do you think? Okay, Watchman. All you do is you lift up his head. Okay. Pull it back. Pull his head back. <gasps> and look. Oh, ah, ah, we went down your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, now slow down, honey, because we haven't had breakfast yet. I don't want you to get a stomach ache, okay? And you want to save some for later, okay? What do you think? Is that fun? Okay, last one for right now, okay? We're gonna have breakfast first. Plus you got a bunch of presents to yeah, open. Yeah, and look, you got all the presents from me and daddy to open. Okay? December 27th, and we're heading to our last Oklahoma City appointment before induction day. <laughs> it swerved. Oh, I didn't sleep last night because I was having some false labor symptoms and insomnia, restless leg, Braxton Hicks contractions, some questionable contractions. Uh, I got like really hungry. It's just, oh man. And just, you know, feeling like there's still so much to do and I needed to get up and pack, which I know, still haven't done, done it. We sat yesterday and did a little bit of a packing list, which is helpful because if someone has to do it for me, <clears throat> then they have the list. Anyway, we just dropped men off at my mom's and she's so excited because Rio's gonna be there. Christmas was great. I don't know. I don't know what the next video is gonna be, but I did film some stuff from Christmas, debating if I wanna share any of that. I think in the future, if I keep the vlog going, I won't, I won't share Christmas stuff, but I probably will this year since it's so unique. And yeah, that's about it. Last appointment, just hi Rob, MFM, the Red Cup, bada bing, back home. That's it, and then I can nap at some point today. So tired. Uh, where are you going? You okay? I was taking an elevator.
very, very, very pregnant. Very pregnant. No other way to describe it. But that was a good meal. And this was our last visit until I move in. <laughs> and just a little, a little overwhelming. I'm glad that this chapter is closing right now. The back and forth. Yeah. Although I enjoyed our red red cup visits. Those were nice. I did too. And it won't be the last time we're eating at the red cup, but definitely going to be eating there quite a bit, I think, while I'm staying in Oklahoma City. Cacao. <laughs> cacao to cacao. Cacao to cacao. <laughs> it's only 1 o'clock. Going to head back. I'm in desperate need of a nap today. So we'll see how the girls are doing. May just let them hang out at Granny's house. And I could just go in one of the guest bedrooms and crash out for a while. Oh, I painted my nails last night. I've had some thyroid dips throughout this pregnancy and every time that's happened, they've adjusted my medication, but also my nails took a hit. And so they've been peeling, which is so odd because in pregnancy, you're supposed to have the strong nails and good hair. and but my thyroid had other plans. And so I've had to really keep up on the maintenance of my nails so they don't, com are, so they're not completely ruined. But anyway, I repainted them again last night and I did this little one glittery nail. And this morning I was waking Minerva up because we had to get up super early. And she saw my, she was like, I want to see your nails. Let me see your nails. And showed them to her. And she's like, I want to do mine like that right now. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, I was able to distract her <laughs> with something. I can't remember. And got her to get her breakfast instead. But I did promise her I'd do her nails for her. She's currently got some really cheap looking <laughs> red nails going on that are chipping and anyway probably need to I gotta give all the cats pedicures I got Frida and Zig last night I just need to do best oh, okay. so I gotta clip all their claws before I leave because I'm the one that does that and then I need to give Minerva a little mani petty pack bags I gotta pack stuff for her She's going to be staying with Granny for however long Nick is going to be gone. Got to pack my hospital bag and my suitcase. And I need to pack stuff for Max. Um, things like... I mean, it's just so hard to know what we will and won't need. But we're going to be an hour and a half away. I know the nurse team are going to have so much for him. He probably won't wear anything at all for the first month. <clears throat> but I do have some swaddles. I'll bring a quilt for him. Uh, some of the snap outfits. I'll bring pacifiers, even though you probably won't need it. And then I've got to clean my my breast pumps. I don't have. I'm just going to use the hospital pump while I'm there and and get one through my insurance. But uh, I had the Haka, and that's what I used when I when I breastfed Minerva, I didn't, I never actually used an actual pump, like an electric pump. So there, the la I talked to the OB today about getting a lactation consultant. That's all going to be set up and they're going to show me how to use the pump. And I'm hoping that in my waiting period while I'm there, I'm just going to be like a pumping machine. And that's going to be my goal is to just pump my little heart out and create a really good supply for him. And in the, in the event that he would never get to have it, I could donate it. And that would make me feel, you know, like I did something. There's just other things like paperwork you got to bring. And I want to grab the Polaroid camera, make sure that it's got updated batteries. And I want to put our Advent decorations away, clean out the fridge, just things like that. So, anyway, I think I'm gonna take a little nap in the car. I'll have like three naps today. Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. All right.
right.